Next we're going to do a left scapula. I have a 10 by 12 image receptor in or the 24 by 30 centimeter. It is inserted into the bucky in lengthwise or the portrait. Now our central ray is going to enter approximately two inches below the coracoid. Now I'm going to bring David's arm out to the side and bring it up. And what this does, it brings the lateral border of the scapula out from the rib so that we can see it better. So this is our AP scapula. Now for our scapula Y or the lateral of the scapula, I'm going to have David turn around and I'm going to put him in an LAO position. When you do the PA oblique for the lateral scapula, you put the affected scapula closer to the IR. You have the patient turn at approximately at a body angle of 45 to 60 degrees. Our central ray is going to enter right at the medial portion of that border, the medial border, and you want it to be at the mid portion of it. I'm going to bring David's arm behind his back here, and you can really see that edge of the scapula protrude at that point. I'm going to scoot him forward just a little bit, okay, and then you want central ray to be at midpoint. Here's the inferior border, here's the upper border. Okay, there's the medial, so that's where our central ray will cut right at that point. Alright, so this is the scapula Y projection. If you're interested in doing a scapula Y for the shoulder, go ahead and just relax the arm down. The patient will be in the same position, but this is showing the relationship of the humerus to the scapula Y. And this is, uh, gives a good indication also of if a shoulder is, is out of joint.